welcome back to another POV. It's been a couple of weeks since the last one and it's mainly because I've been lacking motivation massively. Um, I feel like a lot of people are going through the same thing, so at least I know I'm not alone. Um, but I decided to get out today after a photography job as I saw that the light was very harsh but it was creating some really interesting shadows throughout town. So I decided to grab the camera for this video, I'm actually trying out a Fujifilm weekly recipe. Uh, it's the Kodachrome 64 recipe. So all the images you see are straight out of camera JPEGs. And I'm going to link in the description below the recipe if you want to go check that out and try it out for yourself. Obviously, if you're a Fuji user, I don't know if it's exclusive to a certain sensor, but that's the one I'm using. So for this street photography outing, I really wanted to, to focus more on, on everything going around me and just take a little bit more time. Um, I think it's so easy when you're recording a POV to just snap everything that you see because you want to make a good video. You're very conscious of what's strapped to your chest, you know, the camera. But for this session, I, I took time and I took a different approach. So I'm walking down this alley here and I see this beam of light that these three guys are standing in. So I kind of exposed for the beam of light to kind of make them stand out. And I quite like it. Again, I'm just experimenting with this light, but I decide to stay in this spot for a little bit because there's this color wall there, this mural um, in Norwich. And I really wanted to use that as a backdrop to some photos. So I decide to take a step back and see what I can get. Here, I'm just kind of exposing the shot right before taking a step back. And then from this moment, it's kind of just a waiting game for people to come into your frame. So yeah, this family are coming in here. So I just snap away and I quite like this one out of the sequence. I like that they're all in the middle of a stride. Nothing special, I just quite like it. I'm, I'm showing you the process here. I'm not saying these photos are amazing by any means but I'm just kind of showing you my approach to, to this light. So I see this family walking up and I decide to just capture their legs in this one. And I really quite like this photo because they're all so in sync. I don't think they're all on the right, the same foot, but they're just so in sync. Do you ever get that? Do you walk and then try and sync your footsteps to people? So again, somebody's entering the frame here. And I really like the shadows that I got from him. I couldn't decide what stride I preferred, so there's these two. Let me know if you prefer like the more relaxed stride or that kind of straight legged type approach. This tree there, fun fact, um, it's actually just been protected by the Tree Protection Society or something like that. I think the council wanted to knock it down but the people of Norwich petitioned and was like no, we like this tree. So here I'm kind of just seeing this this wall to my right and I kind of like the leading lines. So I just compose my shot and see what I can get with this couple that are walking down. I'm really liking the colors of the Kodachrome 64 recipe. I don't know if it is any similar to the actual Kodachrome film. Obviously it's not in production anymore so I can't shoot with it to compare, but I really like the colors that are coming out of this. So I decide to kind of stay in this spot because I really like the simple backdrop with someone walking and I see this guy and I kind of wait till he goes to the left of my frame and just capture him as he's walking to the left. I wish there was a bit more beam of light going on him, but it is kind of hitting the back of his legs, so it is what it is. I was going to wait here, but not many people were coming, so I just decided to continue walking up the street. I saw these pillars here outside of a shop and I wanted to experiment with the shadows but I couldn't really get anybody to walk where I wanted them to. I couldn't use any Jedi mind tricks or anything. But I got this photo, it's, it's nothing special, I just put it up there so you could kind of see my vision. I'd like somebody to be walking in the, in the light. So I'm revisiting this place from my last POV because I really like the backdrop and I especially like the colours that the Kodachrome recipe is giving me in this location. So again, it's all just about waiting for people to walk through. I see this couple and this guy, I think he clocks me because he, there's a few frames of him looking at me, but I like this shot. It's kind of, I like the vibe that they're giving off. It's kind of relaxed. 
I feel like the theme of this POV is people walking without me even trying to make it a theme. I think I just liked how people were walking this day. I see this guy and he starts to adjust his hat, so I don't know if he saw me or not and he was hiding or if it was just a coincidence, but I couldn't decide on my favourite. I think that's my favourite, but let me know. I see this guy coming from the right. So I compose my shot and look at that. Very high shot speed on that to capture the motion. They looked really cool. Not a care in the world, just skateboarding around. And I like that I framed them between the windows. I really wanted to ask this guy there in front of me who sat reading a paper for a photo, but I wasn't brave enough, which I regret now because I think that could have been a really cool street portrait. But maybe next time I'll have the courage to ask if I ever see him again. So these next few shots are some of my favorite of the day. I really like, again, I'm gonna keep saying this, but I really like the colors that the, the recipe is giving off, and what it's doing to hit the color of his jacket. And I really like this last photo because there's three people in the frame. But obviously that guy's the main focus. Just kind of looking around for more opportunities. Hiya, how you doing? Get anything good? Um, no, I haven't taken that yet. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's interesting light, isn't it? Yeah. That guy did not want to talk to me. <laughs> I kind of stood there a little bit waiting to see if any conversation would happen, but no, nope, he didn't want to talk to me, which is fine. You know, just because he has a camera as well doesn't mean that he has to speak to me just because I do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he's shooting on either. I think it was a Nikon or something. So I'm walking here and I see this guy who sat on the floor in his red um, jacket. So I frame him to the left. And I really like the color processing of this. I like that there's the top of the pop sign in the window. I just think it looks quite retro. So here I had the idea of framing something in these arches. Um, again, it didn't really work as well as I wanted it to. But I gave it a go. I got that. It's okay. She's in stride. I like that you can see the town hall in the back. I like the colour of the sky. Very blue skies this day, but that's about it. So I'm walking up to the ivy and it's quite sad because usually there's tons of seating outside and it's usually full of people, but obviously COVID-19 hasn't been like that for a while, but I kind of saw all the stairs the stairs, the chairs stacked up in the window and thought it made for an interesting photo. Just to show how different it is now. But hopefully it'll get back on track and we'll get those happy memories again. Saw this guy here, so I'm kind of shooting from the hip. But I was <laughs> looking the opposite direction because I really didn't want him to see me. I like the colors in this. It's quite overexposed in the back, but I still like it. For me, not looking at the camera and pretending I'm not taking a photo, I'm quite impressed with those. Fun fact, this store to the left, the Windsor Bishop store, I actually applied for a job there last year um, before COVID really became a thing. I didn't get the job, um, so no hard feelings, guys. Very nice in the interview, it just wasn't meant to be and quite happy how it turned out really because I got another job in marketing in the city and they're just so lovely to work for. So. Everything happens for a reason. I didn't get the job, but I'll use their shutters for some photos. Capture these girls walking here again. Theme of the video seems to be walking. It's quite a relaxed vibe around the city. I feel like everybody seemed to be quite happy because it's like the first bit of sun that we've had in a long time. Spring is coming and we feel optimistic. 
Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,